Welcome to Math with Mr. J. In this video, I'm going to cover how to find the volume of a cone. And remember, volume is the amount of space that a 3D figure or object takes up. Now, when it comes to cones, we can use the formula 1 third times the area of the base times the height. That's the formula at the top left of the screen. But since the base of a cone is a circle, we can input the formula for the area of a circle into our volume formula to make it more specific. So the formula to the right um, at the top of the screen. We have 1 third times the area of the circular base, pi r squared, times the height. Now we'll talk about why we multiply by 1 third after we finish number 1. Knowing why we do this will give us a better understanding of the formula. So let's jump into number one, where we have a cone with a base radius of five inches and then a height of 12 inches. And the first thing that we need to do is write out our formula. So volume equals one third times the area of our base, so pi r squared, since we have a circular base, and then times the height. Now I wrote out the formula a little different than how it's written at the top of the screen. That's okay because I'm still multiplying one third times the area of the base times the height. It doesn't matter how you represent the multiplication, symbols or parentheses, as long as you're multiplying one third times the area of the base times the height. So once we have our formula written, we can plug in our radius and height. So we have volume equals one third times pi, our radius of five squared times the height, which is 12. Now at this point, we're ready to solve. So we can plug that into a calculator and we'll have the volume of that cylinder. I'm going to break it down or simplify it a little further though, until we get it in terms of pi, which means a number times pi, then I'll calculate. So the first thing that we need to do is five squared. So volume equals one third times, well five squared means five times five, that gives us 25 times pi, 25 pi times 12. Now I put the 25 in front of the pi symbol because we simplified the area of the base and now we have it in terms of pi. And typically speaking, you'll put a number in front of pi when multiplying a number by pi. So we are ready to move forward here and we have a couple of different ways we can do the next step. So one way, we can cross cancel or multiply 1 third and 12, or we can do 25 times 12. I'm going to do 25 times 12, and that gives us volume equals 1 third times, well, 25 times 12 is 300, and pi. So 1 third times 300 pi. Now we have 1 third times 300, or 1 third of 300. That will give us 100 pi. And that's our answer in terms of pi. Now I'm going to calculate the exact volume by multiplying 100 times pi. And I'm going to use the pi button on a calculator. Now it's common practice to also use the rounded version of pi, 3.14. Both are correct, but know that answers will vary slightly depending on if you use the rounded version, 3.14, or the pi button on a calculator. So again, I'm going to use the pi button, and we get volume equals 314, and I'm going to round the decimal to the hundredths place, so we get 16 hundredths. So 314 and 16 hundredths, or 0.16, and this is cubic inches because we're talking volume. So that's our final answer right there. So I want to explain why we multiply everything by one third. 
If we take a cone and we put it in a cylinder with the same exact height and radius, let me try to draw this so we can picture it. So if we put this cone in a cylinder with the same exact radius and height, that cone is going to be exactly one third the volume of that cylinder. Pretty cool how it works out actually. Now when we find the volume of a cylinder, we use the formula, the area of the base times the height. So it looks really similar to this and this. The only thing we add in is the one third, because again, that cone is exactly one third the size or volume of that cylinder. Let's move on to number two, where we have a cone with a given diameter for the base of 14 centimeters. We don't want the diameter though, we want the radius. And remember, the radius is half the diameter. So our radius will be seven centimeters. And then our height is eight centimeters. The first thing we do, write out our formula. So volume equals one third times pi r squared times the height. Once we have that, we plug in. So volume equals one third times pi. And remember our radius is seven because we're given the diameter and we need half of that for the radius. So seven squared times the height of eight. Now we're ready to simplify this and break this down until we get our final volume. So next we'll do seven squared. So volume equals one third well, seven squared, that means seven times seven and gives us 49. So we have 49 pi, that's the area of the base in terms of pi, and then multiply by the height of eight. Our next step is going to be 49 times eight. We don't have anything compatible with that one third that we can cross cancel. So 49 times eight is our best option. So we'll end up with volume equals one third times 392 pi. Now we have to multiply one third by 392. One third and 392 are not compatible, meaning they don't work out nicely like number one where we had one third times 300 and got a clean answer of 100. So what we can do in order to simplify this to in terms of pi is to put it in fractional form. One third times 392 is going to give us 392 over three. So volume equals 392 over three pi. And that's our answer in terms of pi. But I want to back up and show you how I got 392 over 3 if you're unsure. So again, we did 1 third, and I'll try to squeeze this in over here, times 392. Now 392 is a whole number, so we can put it over 1 to put it in fractional form. Now we can multiply. So in order to multiply fractions, we multiply straight across. So 1 times 392 gives us our numerator of 392, and then we do our denominators. So three times one gives us a denominator of three. So again, that's our answer in terms of pi. So 392 thirds pi. Now we're going to calculate this and put it in decimal form by doing 392 thirds times pi. Now I'm going to use the pi button on a calculator if you're using the approximate or rounded version of pi, 3.14, your answer is going to be slightly different than mine. So once we plug this in, we will get an answer of 410 and 50 hundredths. I'm rounding the decimal to the nearest hundredth, and this is centimeters cubed. So again, our volume, 410, and 50 hundredths centimeters cubed. So there you have it. There's how you find the volume of a cone. I hope that helped. Thanks so much for watching. Until next time, peace.